now we are going to create this login page and as you can see there are two input field and one button and there are two links one is going to let the people to jump to another page to go to the sign up and the other is the forget password such that the user can let the Firebase to send back the emails so they can change their password and now as you can see our app just have this default template and there's a panel and we are going to add a sign in button here to go to the sign in page so let's jump to the terminal and now first we go to the pages and add a folder called off And then we create a new file called signin.will And because we have nothing here, so we copy something from the about.will And we change the title to sign in so we know that this is not an about page this is a sign in page and we delete the unnecessary coding so because we want to go to the we want to the nav panel can enter the sign in page so we go to the app dot view and as you can see it already mentioned this is the left panel so under the left panel we add this code this is the list wheel from firma 7 now we go to create a link but we do not have the link first because we do not we did not add the sign in page to the route.js so we add the other stuff first for example we add the wheel we want to link it to the main wheel when it is clicked so we type wheel main and then we also want the panel will close automatically when the user click on the panel so we type panel close and there is a title we type sign in so now let's check the result and as you can see we have now there is a sign in link at the left panel but there's nothing can be clicked because we haven't added this page to route.js so now we go back to the VS Code so now we go to the VS Code and so we import the sign in page from because this page actually is inside a folder called off so we also have to add this word and then we correct this to sign in this name you can change to whatever name you want but 
this name, you should follow this in order to make it work. So we copy this and then we change to sign in page and then we name it to sign in so every time when you want to link in this sign in page you just type in the link sign in so we save it first so in order to link to this page we need to go back to the left panel and we now we can add the link and because the link is sign in so we have to type in type the sign in because we already named it sign in here so now again we can check whether this can go to the sign in page now as you can see we already go to the sign-in page here so now we can edit this page in order to make the two test input field one button and two length so let's back to the VS Code type at the sign-in page so now we go to here and we want to find the code that we want to uh, copy to the to our program so now we copy this stack label and paste it to our code and because we only need to use the email and password so we can delete other input field for example, we do not need to type the name and this also can be deleted so now this just have two input field here and we want the people to type the email first so put, we put it to the top so now you can see there are two input field email and password here and now we can add the sign in button under the two input field we can type f7 button and you can find in the documentation so you will know why we enter F7 button so now we enter, we type sign in now we we can continue to type the F7 link because we want to create this link here so so we create we send confirmation email we also ask whether they have the account if they don't have the account so go to the sign up page and the last link is forgot Forget password.
So now we compare the page and we can see there are some difference between these two pages. The sign in button have an outline here and we should have uh, a line in the center with this length. So we have to correct this. So back to the button, we forgot to type outline and we need to type in break here. So we wrap this into a div so we can align them into center. And we put some simple style. And now let's check again. This is much better, but we find that we do not need the sign in and we have to make some margin here. So we should put them all in under the block. And now you can see there is some space here. This is because we haven't deleted some unnecessary code. These two icons we do not need. We also delete the sign in title. So now we create a two input field and so we have to bind it to the Vue.js data. So underneath the template we type script and also we type in data and we just need two data here and one is email. The other is password. So now we start to buy it to the data email. So we need to add the colon. So we need to tell the program that when there's input, we have to bind it to the email. And this one also, Now as you can see, when we click the sign in, you will go to this sign in page. And so we already finished the sign in page.